Hello, Justin Hartney here, and today I'm going to show you how to blend in two images for your night photography. This first image was taken at 228 seconds long and has a beautiful foreground, but the sky is a little overexposed and the stars are starting to trail. So we take another photo, the same spot only minutes apart, with 25 second long exposure where the stars are sharp and the sky is properly exposed, but the foreground lacks detail. So we're going to bring those photos together in Photoshop by going Edit In open as layers in Photoshop, so they're on the same document. So now once these images are open together in Photoshop, we'll bring the one with the brighter foreground below and the one with the darker sky above. When the darker sky layer is selected, we'll click Option Mask to create a black mask that's going to eliminate the image. Now we'll go to the brighter foreground image and use Quick Selection tool and make a selection of the foreground. Once that's selected, we'll go Command Shift I so that way the sky is selected. So when we paint onto this layer, it's going to paint in the stars from the image above. We'll go to Command Option R to further refine the selection. We'll feather a little bit, increase the smoothness, and that'll be good for now. So selecting the layer, we're going to make sure we're painting in white and have a 100% opacity and a 50% flow. And we'll brush into the sky. And to see our selection without the selection dots, we'll press Command H to hide it. And we'll see it makes a pretty good selection, but there's still a light halo around the edge. So what we're going to do is Command Option R again and shift the edge up. And you can see how the edge is now overlapping into the foreground. And we'll also feather a little bit too. So now we'll put an opacity of around 50%, also a 50% flow, and we'll, be, we'll begin brushing in. And it looks pretty good, but you can still see around Mount St. Helens, there is still a rough, rough edge between the two. So we'll deselect it completely. And now at a 25% flow with 50% opacity with no selection, we'll brush in until it looks smooth. And we'll go back to where the mountain is and we'll brush away with black on the mountain to preserve some of the luminosity captured with the longer exposure. So as you can see, you want to brush it in completely on the top, but as you get closer to the edge, you want to feather off what you allow in and what you don't allow. I hope you guys learned something, and thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.